Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Robert Plays Minecraft. Welcome back, welcome back. Today we're busy. We we really are very busy today. I'm uh, I'm planning on uh, making a, a breeder for these guys and also finish the house because uh, we have some uh, some holes in the roof here. Right to do the villager breeder, we need first to create it and then uh, move the villages. But I'm thinking. Where should we make it? Maybe here? Yeah. Okay. This will be it. Let's create a crafting table and make a few things. So we need four beds. We also need one fence. <clears throat> right. I'm gonna put it there. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, we're gonna put the fence in the middle. Just one. And then all around, we're gonna place the beds. I believe they need to have the pillow towards the exterior, not inwards, not pillow here. Not sure if that's uh, an actual thing, but I believe it is. Right. I'm going to explain why this is uh, like this in just a second. Right, we need um, to sleep. <laughs> right, we got four trapdoors. And we need some water. Well, we will need um, food as well. We go back. We are going to place a dirt block over there and break it and then on every side of the dirt block we're going to place a trap door and close it. And then we break the dirt block and the villages will be in the middle there, they will uh, stay in that box, in here, like this, and they cannot get out, and when they multiply, when they make a baby, the baby will be small and he will uh, drop through that hole, and he will drop in the, in the chamber down below, and there, we're gonna place some water, and move the baby away. Okay. No. One there, one there. And now everything that falls down here will be pushed this way. Good. Ok, 
Okay. My shovel broke. Right. All of them will be moved this way. And once they're here, they will be pushed by a different water. Wait, wait. Make it lower. I'm gonna put a, a torch up here to keep this place lit. Right. Okay, let's get out. Down here, I got this place. Right, so. If you put a water there, it will push us, and uh, that's it. I put it too, down, too low. So it's gonna be here, and when they get there, they will drop. But we need to break this block, well, both of them. And this will make a water column down. Now. Should go in there. And from here get up. And once they're here, they get pushed and drop here. And over here. <coughs> They are just uh, trapped like that. So the small baby would be too small to to go up. He will be in that uh, block over there. And when he grows up, he's gonna be tall enough to touch the water. And the way villages work, when they submerge in water, they float. And when he gets to the top, he's gonna get pushed and drop. Yes, like that. Nice. And they're gonna be trapped in here. Maybe that drop is too big. That's pretty much how it works. Well, I know it looks bad, but we're gonna cover it up and uh, change it. I just wanna test to see if it works. the best way to transport these guys come on haha <laughs> there we go yes <laughs> that worked fine. <laughs> I cannot believe it worked easy as that. Okay. We need to drop him in that box. Um, I'm 
gonna build up the walls so he won't be able to escape. I don't wanna run around after him. There we go. In the hole with you, my dude. In the hole. In the hole, I said. There we go, finally! Oh my god, that that was painful. One is in there, we need the, the second one. Come on, my dude. I gotta... Got a nice new place for you. Yes, there we go. Now I don't know if this guy is gonna be as easy as the other one climbing the hill over here. Yes, 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 yes. Haha, <laughs> that was amazingly easy. Easy. Easy, I tell you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, we got all of them. Let's put a, a trap door on top here. We need uh, some bread. Yeah, and he's alive in there. When he grows up, he cannot come back. When he grows up, he's gonna float to the surface and get pushed and all that. But the problem is they need to be in that middle circle otherwise the babies will not get created in the middle and they won't fall down. Right, one, one baby from there, it's gone. There's only one left. That means he grew up, I think. Yep, there he is. A big villager. This other one should uh, do the same soon. It, it hasn't been too much time in between them when they were made. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he flows up gets pushed in this hole here. Yeah, there we go, we got two now. Nice. Okay, so I know that was uh, a bit difficult, but <laughs> it's not working very properly, so we need to redo it. But I cannot, I cannot do it anymore, I had enough. I need a break from it. And so, we are gonna build a house. I'll. Uh, leave you with this time lapse and I'll explain more about the villagers afterwards. We're gonna fix it and make it even better. I have a great plan for that. But first, the time lapse. Let's go! And that was it. Unfortunately, we have to stop here because I'm, uh, I'm out of materials. But it's time to get back to that villager breeder. It's, uh, <laughs> it's still a work in progress. I do 
kind of wing it. Uh, it's not very wow, but uh, as I said, I'm not the best builder. I will get better. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'll get better <laughs> with time. But I got a, a another plan for the roof and all that. I'm just uh, I'm low on materials and we we don't have enough. So uh, we're back to this. <laughs> the issue here it's uh, quite simple. Basically, they should. Where are they? Yeah, they they're sleeping. But they should re emerge in the middle after they uh, stop from sleeping in, in the morning. But they don't. They they get up on the beds over there instead of getting up here. And I don't know what's causing that. I must have done something wrong. But I have a different idea how to move them around and make a different chamber. So. <laughs> The way the villages work is basically they need to be they need to have at least three beds, one for each and one for a new baby. So if um, if you don't have a new bed, there's not enough space in the village to make somebody new. So they need to have beds in, or in order to want to grow their population. So if they don't uh, sense any, any beds in their surroundings, any extra beds other than the ones they claimed, they will not try to make babies. For that, we need more beds around them. That's, that's why we have four here. And so, uh, another, another requirement they need it's, uh, is to be fed. They have uh, like an inventory like we do here, but it's like, I think, three space of inventory only. And they can carry food in there, but uh, they need either bread, carrots, or uh, potatoes, beetroot as well. I think beetroot works as well. But the thing is, they need to have uh, that food in their inventory. They will try to multiply. Okay, so we dug a room. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make it uh, a farm. Basically, <laughs> okay. I have another plan. What? It works. What? No, no, what? No. This is not what I wanted. Oh well, we need to move them again. Yeah, let's put it here. And we're gonna put a composter above. Good. We are gonna plant crops around here. This will have to do. We need to come and uh, plant some crops. And basically they will um, harvest the food, share it between them. Both of them will have food and they will have the beds over there. And uh, the new baby will try to get to the bed, but because... Uh, I think it's too close though. Okay, so I moved it a little bit uh, further back and uh, we have two of these now. The villagers consider these as uh, blocks they could walk on. Even if they're 
uh, closed like that, they they don't uh, know, they don't register that they are open and uh, there's a drop there. So they consider they can walk on top of them. And uh, because of that, they will uh, try to get past. Now they will not be able to because of that top block there. I'm gonna put these further down. And uh, the babies should be able to to get below it. But the villagers won't. Okay. Nice. This guy is a farmer. Nice. <laughs> but we're gonna plant a lot of potatoes around here. Okay, so I grabbed uh, some more potatoes from uh, from our other farm over there. This is pretty much almost everything we have. <laughs> But uh, we can speed up the process. Mate, yeah, there we go. And after they make a baby, the baby will be able to go underneath that and he will drop down. In our trap chamber over there. Huh, they failed. Why? Why, why, why? They might need to sleep. First, I don't know exactly. No clouds, no cl uh, Maybe they need to sleep first. Come on. I'm, uh, I'm gonna let the time pass a little bit until uh, it's night time and they've slept and uh, we'll come back to this to see how it's going. But basically that's that's the point of the farm. They multiply over there, they feed each other, well that guy feeds that guy. And uh, yeah, the babies will be able to go below the, the trap doors over there. I will uh, I will push them back in in the box, but uh, these doors will be open and they will fall down. And uh, the, well, I explained the trap how it's uh, how it's working down there, so that's that's that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how this is. I believe it's better than the other. It's more uh, foolproof and it can't go wrong too much. But uh, yeah, I'll leave them in there so they will be able to sleep for the night. And then I'll move them back in the box. But yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. We've, uh, it's trial and error, it's trial and error. Not, not everything goes perfect all the time. But yeah, we are gonna go to the nether in the next episode. I am... Uh, not very very pleased with uh, how the house progress is going but I'm out of materials and I want to go to the nether to to collect some new materials new colors new gradients it's uh, it's gonna be interesting I am uh, I am new to these series as I said and uh, I might not uh, have a very organic flow to it but um, Practice. Practice makes it better, so uh, we're gonna be persistent. I do enjoy it to bits doing this, and uh, I learn more and more every day. Oh my god, that looks terrible down the, behind me. Don't look at it. But yeah, I believe we're gonna finish it here, because uh, there's, uh, there's a lot I need to, to sort in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching, I really really hope you're enjoying. And if you do, please, please consider giving a like and uh, maybe subscribe. 
and I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, all the best.